Anterior ischemic optic neuropathy, ION, is a medical condition involving loss of vision caused by damage to the optic nerve as a result of insufficient blood supply, ischemia. This form of ischemic optic neuropathy is generally divided into two types, arteritic ION, or ION, where the loss of vision is an effect of an inflammatory disease of arteries in the head called temporal arteritis, and non-arteritic ION, abbreviated as NAON, or sometimes simply as ION, due to non-inflammatory disease of small blood vessels. Introduction the distinction between ION and non-arteritic ION was made to highlight the different etiologies of anterior ischemic optic neuropathy. ION is due to temporal arteritis, also called giant cell arteritis, an inflammatory disease of medium-sized blood vessels, Chapel Hill Conference, that occurs especially with advancing age. In contrast, NAON results from the coincidence of cardiovascular risk factors in a patient with crowded optic discs. Non-arteritic ion is more common than ION and usually occurs in a slightly younger group than ION. While only a few cases of NAON result in near-total loss of vision, most cases of ION involve nearly complete vision loss. Beyond this introduction, this article will focus on non-arteritic ION. For a discussion on arteritic ION see the separate article Arteritic Anterior Ischemic Optic Neuropathy. Though the term ion can be used to describe either anterior ischemic optic neuropathy in general or non-arteritic ion specifically, in this article NAON henceforth will be used to refer to non-arteritic anterior ischemic optic neuropathy. Non-arteritic anterior ischemic optic neuropathy is an isolated white matter stroke of the optic nerve, ON. NAON is the most common cause of sudden optic nerve-related vision loss, affecting more than 10,000 Americans every year often bilaterally. No clinically effective treatments exist, largely because little is known about its pathophysiology, and there are few histopathological studies of the acute condition. An exhaustive review article published in March 2009 described the latest information on arteritic and non-arteritic ischemic optic neuropathy, both anterior, aion and naion, and posterior, apion, napion, and surgical. Symptoms and Diagnosis Nayan typically presents suddenly and upon awakening. The patient notes seeing poorly in one eye. Vision in that eye is obscured by a dark shadow, often involving just the upper or lower half of vision, usually the area towards the nose. There is no pain. In approximately six months following the infarct visual acuity improves by three or more lines of vision on the Snellen chart, the chart with smaller letters on each lower line in 42.7% of patients. In addition, vision had worsened by three lines or more in 12.4% of patients. Second eye involvement occurs in approximately 15% to 20% of patients with NAON within five years. Fortunately, it may not be terribly devastating as the visual acuity may remain only moderately impaired. Furthermore, most cases of NAON involve the loss of a hemifield, either the upper or lower half of the visual field, but not both. A few cases of NAON involve almost total loss of vision. Since arteritic ion is similar in presentation to non-arteritic ion, patients over the age of 50 diagnosed with NAON must be evaluated to exclude ion, symptoms, painful jaw muscle spasms, scalp tenderness, unintentional weight loss, fatigue, myalgias, and loss of appetite. Furthermore, NAON patients over the age of 75 should often be blood tested regardless. Incidents It is estimated that the incidence of ION is about 8,000 year in the US. Causes and risk factors The mechanism of injury for NAON used to be quite controversial. However, experts in the field have come to a consensus that most cases involve two main risk factors. The first is a predisposition in the form of a type of optic disc shape. The optic disc is where the axons from the retinal ganglion cells collect into the optic nerve. The optic nerve is the bundle of axons that carry the visual signals from the eye to the brain. This optic nerve must penetrate through the wall of the eye, and the hole to accommodate this is usually 20 to 30 percent larger than the nerve diameter. In some patients the optic nerve is nearly as large as the opening in the back of the eye and the optic disc appears crowded when seen by ophthalmoscopy. 
A crowded disk is also referred to as a disk at risk. While a risk factor, the vast majority of individuals with crowded disks do not experience NAIN. The second major risk factor involves more general cardiovascular risk factors. The most common are diabetes, hypertension, and high cholesterol levels. While these factors predispose a patient to develop NAIN, the most common precipitating factor is marked fall of blood pressure during sleep, nocturnal arterial hypertension, that is why at least 75% of the patients first discover visual loss first on waking from sleep. These vascular risk factors lead to ischemia, poor blood supply, to a portion of the optic disc. The disc then swells, and in a crowded optic disc, this leads to compression and more ischemia. Since both eyes tend to have a similar shape, the optometrist or ophthalmologist will look at the good eye to assess the anatomical predisposition. The unaffected eye has a 14.7% risk of NAIN within 5 years. A number of uncontrolled single case or small number of patient reports have associated NAIN with use of oral erectile dysfunction drugs. Treatment Once NAIN happens, it was thought that there was no accepted treatment to reverse the damage. However, a recent uncontrolled retrospective large study has shown that if patients are treated with large doses of corticosteroid therapy during the early stages of NAIN, in eyes with initial visual acuity of 20 70ths or worse, seen within two weeks of onset, there was visual acuity improvement in 70% in the treated group compared to 41% in the untreated group, odds ratio of improvement, 3.39, 95% CI 1.62, 7.11, P1 0.001. That study in a natural history study on NAIN, Ophthalmology 2008, 115, 298 305, showed that visual acuity can improve up to six months and not after that. To minimize the risk of further visual loss in the fellow eye or the same eye, it is essential to reduce the risk factors. Common sense dictates trying to control the cardiovascular risk factors for many reasons, including protection from this happening to the second eye. Sudden vision loss should lead to an ophthalmological consultation. If NAIN is suspected, then ideally a neuroophthalmologist's consultation should be obtained. A recent Cochrane review sought to determine the extent of safety and efficacy of optic nerve decompression surgery for NAIN, compared to other treatments, or no treatment. The one study included in the review found no improvements in visual acuity among patients who underwent surgery for NAIN, and adverse events, pain, double vision, experienced by participants who underwent surgery. There is much research currently underway looking at ways to protect the nerve, neuroprotection, or even regenerate new fibers within the optic nerve. So far there is no evidence in human studies that the so-called neuroprotectors have any beneficial effect in NAIN. However, there is a new current clinical trial for the treatment of NAIN in the United States with plans to include sites in India, Israel, Germany, and Australia. See NordicClinicalTrials.com and HTTPS slash slash clinicaltrials.gov slash. This trial will test the use of a synthetic CERNA that blocks Caspas II, an important enzyme in the apoptosis cycle. In addition to such research, patents have been applied for by Pfizer the University of Southern California, Otsuka Pharmaceutical and other individual inventors for innovations related to the treatment of anterior ischemic optic neuropathy. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.